Well, hello everyone. I'm Mike Jacka, and I'm excited to be coming down to Orlando in October. And I want to take a couple minutes and share with you what we're going to be talking about at the CFRI meeting on Thursday, October 22nd. Now, this is going to be a two-part training. So part one is we're going to learn how to estimate repairs. And what we're going to do is over the years, I've developed systems and processes to simplify the repair estimates. So by the time we're done with the evening, you're going to be able to quickly go through a property and confidently have a good solid number for the repairs, which is going to help you actually create your offers. So if you're making cash offers for bank REOs or rundown properties that need a lot of work and your intent is to fix and flip these properties, how to come up with that repair estimate number. And I'm going to share with you guys my repair estimate sheets and how we go through this and, and within 10 to 15 minutes, go through these particular items on the sheet, which I'll share with you um, at the training and then be able to come up with that number so that you can confidently submit your offers. Now that's part one. Part two of the training comes from over the years with a lot of students, I realized, you know what, they got really good at learning this system and then submitting, you know, coming up with their offers, but then they seem to fall short at actually submitting the offers unless it was a bank REO and you know, there was no emotional decisions back there. It was just somebody looking at the numbers and there was an answer of yes or no or counter offer. But when you're dealing with regular sellers, you know, people who actually live in these properties or grew up in these properties or their parents or relatives were in these properties, it gets me um, an emotional decision. And I've seen a lot of students over the years get the cold feet or get hesitant in actually making the offers because by the time we go through, do the repair estimates, run our, our calculate our ARV or after repair value, all that to determine our mail, the maximum allowable offer, or what our offer is actually going to be, it might be a lot lower than what they were expecting. And so I've seen a lot of students just hesitate and not even make the offer. Or they didn't even really know how to negotiate with the offer with the sellers to find out what their true motivation was. Because they may say, well, yeah, I want to sell the property for X amount of dollars and I want to close quickly. Well, everyone's going to say that, but what we need to do is find out what is their true motivation. So part two of this training is I'm going to work with you guys and show you some of the tools, tips, and techniques that I've used over the years to get down to what the seller's true motivation is. And then using what we learned on estimating repairs and how to negotiate with the sellers, finding out what their true motivation is. And I'm going to share a few tools with you that's going to help us do that. Uh, and I'm going to show, share with you a couple of real life examples of where these tools and systems that I've set up over the years have helped me uncover seller's true motivations, which then allows us to create multiple different offers. So we can give them that all cash offer and then give them a secondary and a third uh, offer sometimes to either back up our cash offer from doing the repair estimates or to give them a whole other alternative to look at that would fit within what they truly need based on what their motivation is for selling the properties. So those that's the two parts that we're going to be talking about at the meeting, at the CFR meeting on Thursday, October 22nd. So like I said, I'm excited to come down to Orlando, especially down in October time of the year, uh, and spend the evening with you guys. So looking forward and we'll see you there.